guys. Happy Saturday. I know I just posted earlier that I'd be on here at 3 and I did not make it at 3 because um, I had to go get some hot creamy tomato soup from Panera and um, well it just took me extra minutes to eat all my bread bowl that was with it. So anyway, I'm running a little bit late because um, I had to eat my soup from Panera. Who else loves that? Hey guys. Hey, hi Michelle. Hi Jamie. Hi Q. Miss Quita Allen. Cookies. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I had to get a um, chai tea latte with almond milk, no dairy. And then I had to get me some creamy tomato soup with bread. And um, took too long to eat it. So I am ready to get this door some wax on it so I finished this one the other day hi hi Jamie hi Lori what's everybody up to today yesterday in Oklahoma City we had 62 degrees beautiful day today is 28 and we've got some possible sleeting and freezing rain yeah I just love that I just love it. it makes me all warm and fuzzy how about you guys <laughs> Uh, so I'm just I'm not gonna be out here too long but we're on day 10 hi you just found me well Tanya I'm glad you're here tin roof is cleaning up it's a good time to do that uh, it's February 10th which means it's day 10 of my 28 lives in 28 days um, you love Panera I'm a certified pastry chef check it out Tish yeah lots of painting if it's 80 to 80 degrees there so I'm just going to put some wax on. I have um, grabbed the white, the clear, and the dark wax, all from DIY. That's what I have put on this one. Let me get you a better look at this one, you guys, in case you missed it the other day. I've done lots of photos of it, too, because I'm in love with it. I am in love with it. So it fades up. It's got cowgirl coral and some vintage linen in there. and. Um, then we've got Old 57, Mermaid Toe, and uh, Bohemian Blue. So we're going to work on some wax. Um, I was just, you know, Quita and I were on here last night, and we were painting our, our red and our pinks. And um, something we don't talk about too often is the wax and the top coats. They uh, DIY offers four different wax colors. Uh, a top coat which is called the liquid patina and then we have big top which is another clear top coat the liquid patina is clear and you can actually mix it with colors for a glazing technique we also have a, um, a gold liquid patina which is my favorite product which Quid and I used last night and I mix it with some colors and I mix this one with marquee and added just a little bit of a copper patina to this one so that seems to be my favorite one right now I also love mixing liquid gold patina with dark and decrepit that is a really good bronze paint really really good it works perfectly and that is half and half if you ever want a bronze metallic just mix dark and decrepit and liquid gold patina half and half that is so pretty um we should oops love all the waxes and top coats yes um and seriously you know a lot of you know how a lot of times you see all natural written on food packaging and then there's 40 ingredients that you can't pronounce. One thing that I am super pumped about with the DIY stuff is they list their ingredients on the back. And one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. And literally the first one is love. So technically we've got five. Um, it's love beeswax, carnauba, carnauba, I don't know. It must be French, right Q? Uh, wax. Candelia wax, kerosene wax, and isofar. So with only six ingredients, and I know what love is already, you can Google it. And Tish, I know you placed a big order today. I'm excited for you. It's hard to get under budget. It's hard, 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 I know. Um, hi, Miss Margie. Uh, so that's what I love. And the ingredient, you know, they're in here. They're um, soft like butter. It's another thing I love about them. And so for these doors, um, I wanted a very matte finish. I don't, I'm not going to put anything shiny on them other than the metallic glazing. Um, 
Would Big Top be good for a dress or a turn in? Absolutely. Absolutely. Put a couple of coat that, coats of that on the top of it and on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, the whole piece, but definitely. So, um, what I did with this one is I used clear, dark, and white. And so I've got the dark at the bottom. But you know, that was my, my point in telling you about, you know how you see the, the bags of chips and they say all natural, but then you go and you've got 40 ingredients that you can't pronounce. This is simple. It's simple, it's basic, it's elementary. It's just several different waxes. It's all natural. I am assuming the Isofar, I-S-O-P-H-A-R, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that's the pigment that tints it. Um, to age the wax? Mm, not sure. Does it mean for you, do you mean for it to cure? I'm sorry guys. I have a space heater sitting on my back right here. Yes, we are Margie. We are frozen. Yesterday was gorgeous. We had that big baseball deal last night and the weather. I mean, we were hauling stuff in and out and people were in shorts. So anyway, yeah, it, uh, it was pretty crazy. Um, thank you, Michelle, for just sharing this video. Yes, Deborah, it's the last layer that I put on my piece. That's exactly right. And to cure um, any kind of wax is going to take several weeks to fully cure. But you've known me well enough to know that as soon as I get done with a piece, and it's waxed, the very next day I'm setting things on top of it and I'm staging it. That's how well it holds up. The worst case scenario is I set something round on it and I have to go back after I'm done with a cotton rag and buff it out, but that's worst case. That doesn't even have to happen. Did you make your sale at the ball event? Um, I did sell my paintings. They went to two good homes. I did not ask how much because I did not want to know. They reported back that all of the items, which we had like 50 to 60 items, all of the items went, just wasn't probably the best event. So, there are no smells. Abigail. There are no smells. Um, that's another thing that I love about it because I can paint in the house. And my kids and my husband are very sensitive to smells. Um, they always have been, especially my oldest. Um, and so I don't ever want to bother them like that. Um, but with like the paint, all you're gonna smell is dirt, if you smell anything, literally, because of the clay base. Yeah, I did so, I, and I know the people that they went to, like I kinda know who they are. Um, so I was glad for that. It's fine, it's all a donation, but I didn't wanna know how much they went for. And my husband didn't look because he knew that I would pump him when I was feeling really good about myself. I'd be like, just tell me, just tell me. But he didn't even look. He grabbed my, my um, easels for me and just loaded up and headed out. Um, someone just bit a sad face, so I don't know what the sad face was about, but um, maybe I could answer your question, or did I skip your question? Maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to work on this door a little bit and just thought you guys could join me today. Thank you for your support, Abigail. And if you joined me last night, um, Q and I have seven more days before we do our... our um, our class here in Oklahoma City. I'm pretty excited about it. Hi Martha. We're gonna go to Reclaimed Warehouse and we're going to, um, we've got a few more spots available and uh, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a really, really, really good time. I also have my online class. So those, those of you that wanna stay at home and have a class or watch a class or paint with me, three and a half hours. Uh, March 3rd, you can join me and we'll go over some paint techniques and I will paint a piece of furniture from the start to finish. So that's on the turquoiseiris.com and you guys are all um, welcome to join. Yes, Q, seven days. Okay, COPD and can't have fumes in the house. Perfect. Happy Saturday, Dion. Same to you, Kim Griffin. Thank you. So I'm just going to get started. I want the dark, the darkest color to be at the very bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of work on that. This is just the clear, and I'm gonna put it on first in some areas, and then I'm gonna put the dark over the clear because it gives you a little bit more room for control when you put the clear on first, um, and then you can kind of manipulate the dark just a little bit more. Fatima, are you giggling? 
Q better start walking? Yes, she did say that last night, didn't she? She was going to walk. But she was going to walk, I think. She said she was going to walk all the way to Tennessee if she had to. But she was coming to boot camp. We are going to open up a day at the boot camp for um, non-retailers. We most certainly are. Hi, Barbie. Sorry we didn't get to visit at the event last night. Saw we, saw we. We are gonna open to get these doors done this week so I can get them back to my customer. They're in the process of building a house right now. This wax you do not need very much. A little goes a long way. Uh, you were, I'm using this little short brush, but normally, um, because this is my clear brush and I've had it for a while, I don't want to throw it away. So thank you, Desiree. This is paintpixie.com, and I have the, the wax, br wax brush, the French tip, the large and the small, all of which I use. And before this even dries, you guys, I'm going to go back and go ahead and grab the dark. wanting to add a lot of texture. Are you pressing hard? I am, Abigail. Okay, I don't want very much and you don't need very much because a little goes a long way. So I dipped my brush in the wax and then I'm scraping off the top, okay? And I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up. Let me tilt the, let me tilt this just a little bit for you guys. Can you see? Ooh, maybe not. Okay. I've gotten braver because of my encouraging nature. Oh, Marty, that's so wonderful. Thank you for telling me that. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm so close. Hi, Debbie. Hope you're having a busy day at the shop. All right, I'm trying to get y'all to see the bottom without sticking my face in front of the camera. So that was one thing I wanted to say was we're talking about the waxes. Um, the other thing was I've got one person messaged me last night and then another person messaged me this morning and say, hey, we're not seeing your lives. Are you two doing your 28 lives? Well, yeah, I am. Um, but that's what I've been talking about was that algorithm, the new algorithm from Facebook. If you don't have me, maybe if you're not liking and commenting on posts from your favorite people or your sister or your brother or your grandma, you're not going to see their stuff pop up in your feed. You are not. You're going to have to go in and type in your sister's name or type in the turquoise iris. Um, thank you, Louis. Um, you're you're going to have to type it in. And so you've got to either start liking and commenting or Facebook says, well, she doesn't really like this page because she doesn't like or comment or, or comment at all. Um, and so we're gonna we're not gonna put her put this stuff in front of her We are gonna put up the things that she likes the most because she's liking and commenting So those are the things that you're gonna see in your feed. So anyway, I was trying to explain this to these two people Um, if you can go on my page Now she was seeing my lives but she's having to go back. Hi, Wendy. She's having to go back and you know look at my videos but instead of getting um, they weren't popping up in her feed at all. And she said for two weeks she's been missing my lives. So go to the page and where it says like and following, click on following. And over to the right you can see first and it'll show a mobile phone. Um, they will be installed as doors, Dorothy, into the new house. Um, so you have to put C first if you want to make sure that my videos, my lives, and you're afraid you're missing them, if they're popping up in your feed, you want to make sure you do that. You can also, as soon as this video is over, it's going to have a black screen and it's going to say it's over. It'll say notifications. You can turn them on or you can leave them off. If you turn them on, you'll get a notification on your phone that says the turquoise iris is now live. So those are all things like... I do with my favorite. I've gone through and like with Q's. I make sure I see Q's posts first because I want to see that girl's stuff. Hello. You know, I'm not going to miss out on her posts. Just be, and of course I comment too. I comment and I share and I like. So what the, the Facebook, you don't have to be scared of it. You just have to figure it out. 
um, they want you communicating. It's a social platform. They want you to be social. Okay? Yes, that's right. Just let the dark wax dry or rub with a cloth. Yes. Is that wax waterproof? Yes. Yes, once it seals and cures, just like waxing your car, you know, you put a good solid wax on your car, and then when it rains, it bubbles up. It's just like that. I recommend if you're using the wax on a heavy piece that's getting a heavy um, heavy action like a, a dress or a vanity or desk, something like that, I recommend you go ahead and put more than one coat of wax. So like I said, I'm wanting the dark down here and I'm wanting it to look like it weathered naturally. I don't know um, if you follow me on Pinterest, but I have a board called Doors Around the World and it's my favorite board other than my own, I guess, but really it's kind of my favorite because I look, I look there for inspiration for color. Um, and I want to make one of the, I want these doors to look like they, they were from Mexico. They are found in Mexico. However, I want them, to, I want this paint finish to look like it's weathered over a hundred years as well. May not have had this gorgeous teal color a hundred years ago, but you know what I'm saying. I followed you, but at the last live didn't appear. Fatima, that's exactly right. That's what we were just talking about. Um, you have to make sure you're commenting, liking, and sharing in order to see the next one. Otherwise, you're going to have to go in and type in the turquoise iris and go to the page. Oh, I love that, Wendy. So I'm gonna put a little more dark down in here. Like I have Q's notifications turned on, so if she were to go live, I would know about it. Um, Jennifer Allwood, I have to also have hers on. You're welcome, Fatima. You have to go over to following. Click on, on my page, click following, and then click see first. It's over on the right, and it shows you a mobile phone. So when you first click on the Facebook, my stuff, or whoever it is that you want to follow, your favorites, their stuff will pop up first before you get to the other people. Because, you know, I have always had it set where, like, my best friends, anytime they post, I get a notification. But, like, if my mom posts something, I want to see it because most chances is, mo the <laughs> most chances is, whatever. It's very likely that what she posted was me or my brother or someone in my family and I want to make sure that I don't miss my mama's post. So. so don't worry. We don't have to worry about it. We just got to fight back, right? It's not to hurt us. It's actually to increase engagement. I mean, Facebook is a social platform and what do they want? They want you to be social on it, right? So you just have to learn when they do these kind of changes, but it's not just you. It's not just us. It's everybody. It's, I mean, from what I understand, it's everybody like Donald Trump. I mean, his posts have gone weighing down. His likes, his comments. Um, it's everybody. It's just Facebook in general. Did you know that there is a limit? Yes, Bobby, I've been told that there's 30. But I personally am nowhere near that limit. <laughs> nowhere. So that meaning what Bobby is saying is, um, we, you can do that up to 30 times to 30 different people or stores or, you know, yeah, that's what, that's right, 30. Oh, I just love this. Guys, if this is the first time you're seeing these doors, they are from Mexico and I'm working on a custom order for um, a couple that's putting these in their house. Um, I don't always use wax, Linda. Yeah, I either use wax or a top coat, which is the big top from um, from DIY. So if I use one, I don't use the other. It's not necessary for me. I'll put a little bit dark. I'm not doing it even, you guys. Like I'm not trying to make this door look exactly like this door. Okay, I'm, that's not that's not my plan. This wax is amazing, I swear it's just like butter. If you guys are interested in trying it, I have an affiliate link that I can post, and if you order from my affiliate link, I actually get credit for it, right? Will it lighten as it cures? It will lighten up, yes, just a little bit. 
but in this case I don't want it to lighten up I want it to be dark but it is wet like you can see right here there's some wet spots from the wax where I put it on heavier can you see that right there no nope. I have to tilt it up just a little bit normally I wouldn't be painting in these jeans either they're a little tight around my middle if you know what I mean But I've got a loose fitting shirt on too, so okay. My goodness. So I'm gonna put a little bit more dark right here. Thank you for sharing I appreciate you it is really easy to use very so when I'm done here all I do is tomorrow I'll buff it out make it real smooth and I'll be done other than flipping them over and doing the other side right hi Stephanie but yes I am loving these doors so what I'm gonna do with the white is I'm gonna use some of it up here at the top I've got coral up there and so I started with the cowgirl coral, but I've also got white wax. And so up at the top, let's see if you can see, up in this area here, this is a little bit softer because this one's done. This finish is a little bit softer. I took the white wax and I went over it in areas where the coral was a little dark, excuse me, bright. So I'm gonna, my goal is to make this door look similar to this one because this one's finished. Um, I know that on the live it's probably a little bit difficult to see all the details in what I'm talking about, but when you're here in person and you're staring at the doors, you can definitely see the difference. And it's very likely that I will take the white and even put a little bit down here at the bottom. Guys, I'm sorry. These doors are like seven feet tall and normally I don't touch the camera. But I'm kind of having to, so you guys can see everything. Hi, Mom Arliss. Hi, Amber. How do you keep the two to look the same or very similar? Um, I definitely don't want them to be matchy-matchy because that's not a natural wear. So, if you think about it in your head, when doors are hung, you're going to go through one door more than you do the other one, right? So I try to visually think about them on a house. One door, the one on the right, is going to get opened more, probably. Um, it's going to, like, so right where the hand is going to be, it's going to be worn. It's going to be more weathered, right? It's going to age that way. I'll tell you the colors just a second, Kelly. So I, I don't worry about them being identical, but it's, if they're going to hang side by side, this right one right here, it's going to be more worn. Okay, the bottoms are going to be more worn. I do not try to get them to be matchy-matchy because um, this door is going to have a lot more wear. So the fact that it has these darker areas, I'm going to make sure where the handle is, where our, our hands would push or open, that's going to be more worn. So if you think about where it will naturally wear, um, it makes total sense, right? So I just... Um, I don't, I don't get too ate up with the fact that they're not identical. Uh, and then, you know, when I work on dressers, I will work on a side, then I'll work on part of the front and the next front. Um, it's just not going to age naturally. Perfect. Like, it's just not. So everything in this type of look, it's going to perfectly age imperfectly, correct? Like, perfectly imperfect. So... You don't have to get too caught up in, oh my gosh, like this one, the coral's coming down a little bit lower because, well, what if it did that? What if these doors have been on this front porch for the last 60 years? You think they're going to wage, you know, what if, I mean, I think about all kinds of things. I think about, well, there's a light fixture up here by the front porch and this thing may have rusted and dripped and this, I mean, there's all kinds of things when you're dealing with natural elements, right? And so the fact that these things these plates right here have, see there's not a plate here, okay? So if you're seeing like this plate's missing, 
but there's a plate on every other window, but right here. And there's a missing one at the, at the at right here too. So it is, um, it's what makes them different. It's what adds character. It's why I love old homes. It's why I'm obsessed with old furniture. It's why um, when there's a historic home, we all wanna walk through it. Um, because it looks different and it's special and it's not too matchy-matchy. Um, so I don't get too caught up in that and that is something that I always warn people if you are um, OCD or type A or did I get that mixed up? I don't think I did. Let's see if that's possible. I got it mixed up. Hi, Twyla, and thank you. And thank you for sharing that. That is so awesome. So the next thing is that I'm going to need to move my chair and I'm going to have to sit and I'm gonna start putting some white wax up here and I will let you guys watch, but I'm not sure how that's gonna look. So let me try that. Let me try, let me try. Guys, I don't know if you missed me saying this, but we had um, 60 degrees here in Oklahoma City and today we have 28 and I'm not stinking very happy about it. I don't even wanna go out. So I was late going live today because I went to Panera and got me some some um, tomato soup. We promise not to get in your way. Thank you, Marty. I'm kind of like, well, I guess I don't have to let you guys go. I'm just waiting on my boys to get home from practice so we can go to a family gathering. Okay, can you see me? It's kind of weird. I'm not really a fan of this angle. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm not gonna lie one bit. So this is the white wax. Again, I was telling you about the ingredients with DIY. When this says all natural, I'm telling you it's all natural. I'm not saying we're like the potato chips aisle where everything says all natural. It ain't, it ain't real natural, right? I mean, it's got 40 ingredients that you can't pronounce. This really is, okay? DIY really, really is all natural, okay? Thank you, Becky. See? You're, yeah, I get that. I get it. Because it's like, man, that really speaks to me. But I could never do it. I could never have something like that in my home. Well, um, you know, my husband was looking at these doors, and he's the same way. He's getting used to it, but he's like, well, this one you did this, and this one you did this. I don't care. I'm not going to do a matchy-matchy. Get out of my garage is what I tell him. means it in a nice way, a loving way. He's just picking on me. Okay, so I'm going to start with the white, and I really want to tone down a little bit of the brightness of this cowgirl coral. So I do not need much. Look, that's too much, okay? So I'm going to scrape some of that off. Thank you for the shares and the hearts, you guys. I think I better stand up. Can you see this area right here? I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. You may need to come in closer, huh? So because this wood is very textured, I'm gonna go in the circular motion right here because I want it to really, really, really get in all of the grooves of this wood. There's a lot of knots and chips and chunks taken out. And I'm just kind of taking out the brightness of the coral. And I'm pressing very hard. I want to get that wax in all of those chips and nicks and kicks and scrapes. Come in closer. Hang tight. Okay. So, I'm trying to get to where you guys can see a little bit closer. Thank you, Kenny. I appreciate that very much. So, this one's the one that's finished. This is the one we're working on. I 
worked on the bottom just now with you guys and I got some clear dark wax. Now there's some areas that are still wet where it's darker right here. Hi Jane, good to see you girl. Um, so I still need to take my wax all the way up there but I can tell you right now I'm gonna be standing on this little stool and y'all are not gonna get to watch me do that because that is not gonna be an attractive angle. Not that I have to be attractive but you do not want that angle. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, so at this point, I need to let you go so I can work on up there because I was hoping to get this wax before I go. Um, yeah, the whole angle down from the bottom looking up, mm -mm, this is bad enough right here. This is bad enough. This is pushing it. I usually try to do up higher. Um, okay, so if you are just popping on here and you missed my explanation about our waxes, Please check that out. If you missed my explanation about Facebook and the algorithm, please check that out. If you um, are interested in seeing more things like this, go to my Pinterest page and look, go under the Turquoise Iris. I have a board called Doors from Around the World. Love. But it's all things like this, okay? So um, just let me know if you have any questions. You're very welcome, Deborah. Um, it's day 10, so you know I'm going to be back tomorrow on day 11. Thanks, Amber. You're very welcome. Um, and last but not least, if you want to sign up for my online class, go to theturquoiseiris.com. And it's under March 3rd, online class. I also do have a few more spots for this Saturday. And then March 24th, we got a whole bunch of spots. So thanks so much. I appreciate you guys joining me today as usual. And you guys have a wonderful awesome Saturday.